the time is now 541 this thing was trying to give me a call I only have enough time at 541 to fuel up the car and uh, park it and uh, so that uh, Mr. Punctual can come and get it I've uh, already deposited some money in the bank in the bank that went very well and very easy the night was busy until midnight I mean really busy like non-stop except for there was this one guy uh, it was my second call I just dropped off and then I was on my way to my second call I got to my second call I was there 10 minutes after it was uh, after the call was made actually 15 minutes after the call was made the call was made at 6 uh, 25 and I was there at 6 40 and I called and they put me through from the switchboard to the guy and uh, when they put me through I had waited already a little while and then I called them and uh, they put me through on the switchboard and he said, I'll be right down. Now, this is a homeless shelter hotel. And uh, it took him 10 minutes to come down. And then there was another 20 minutes or so. He says, oh, she'll be right down. She'll be right down. Even went up to get her. And he says, yeah, she's coming right down. And then he was in the car with me. And I said, do you realize it's been half an hour since I accepted this call? I could have done two more trips in the time that I have been waiting for you and her to come down. And he says, so what, do you want me to pay you something? I said, no, don't pay me anything. Just call it when you need it and quit wasting my time. And that was it. Um, the rest of the evening was busy, 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 busy. Uh, and then, of course, in the morning hours, I got opportunities to um, to watch videos and to sleep. And I still did $336, some odd like that. So that's okay. Considering it was a slow morning, but the evening was busy. Oh, what a mess. Get me out of here. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Okay, 5.21 in the morning on a Tuesday, it's a Tuesday morning at 5.21, I drop off at the airport, uh, I got $400 on, my night is over, I'm going to go to the nearest car wash, wash the car, I'm going to... drive into town, detail the interior, make a deposit at the bank, fuel up, and walk home and walk to the chiropractors. I had a fair last night. It was one of my early fairs. And it was picking this woman up. She was in her 40s. And she says she doesn't make a lot of money then she says as the conversation goes on she makes $30 an hour and works 48 hours a week that's enough she says oh I don't make much and on the way home she wanted to get Chinese food and she ordered Chinese food on the way and we were going to the restaurant and we got to the restaurant that she thought was the one she ordered from but it was not the one she ordered from was in another town completely and way far away prohibitively far away and she she's just a strange one I've had her in my car before and it's, this woman is just weird She 
talks about stuff that's quite personal. Personal to her, not to me. And it's like, and then she claims she has no life. And she's looking for a place to live. But she wants to live with someone who leaves her alone. She wants to live with someone to share a house or something. With someone who uh, wouldn't mind her being a ghost. And just to check in on her at, at, from time to time. And I'm going, oh, there's, there's something wrong with her. And uh, I told her that I do these taxi vlogs and that I talk about customers. And she says, you're not taping me, are you? No, I'm not taping you. But I told her I don't use names. And I don't usually say where the customer got in the car and where they're going to. I just mention what they did. And they're just random people. And she says, you mean you talk about me? And I said, no, I don't think I'm going to talk about you. <laughs> so I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> She wanted to stop at a liquor store on the way home. I also mentioned that I like to have whiskey after work. Um, she, uh, she gave me something. She did give me something. I don't know if I can... Oh, there it is. She did give me something. Uh, she gave me this. And so I was most thankful. You know, it's like a fifteen dollar tip. And then then when we got there, she said, oh, that's very expensive. Yeah, well, it's very expensive because we sat in front of a restaurant that was closed for about five minutes. And it was a detour that was out of the way. But she managed to talk to me about some things that were very personal. I don't know. Anyways, she said, that's real expensive. And I said, that's, I'm sorry, but you wanted to go where you wanted to go. And she says, well, no tip for you. I said, that's fine. The tip was the bottle anyway. So yeah, a strange customer. The rest of the night was just busy. Actually, I got to sleep between 12 and 2. And then after two, I got busy in the morning hours, including a ride to the airport. So now I'm heading for the car wash. Three more nights to go this week. This night is just about over. It's 5.26 in the morning on a Wednesday. Wednesday morning, I've got... Uh, about 350 on. That's enough. I've had uh, a couple of longer trips, which were nice. And I had another one, which was really odd. They opened up a new pub just a couple blocks from where I live. And it's a big one. It's got like a bowling alley, and apparently it's got a rooftop something or other and it's got no fewer than 26 TV screens and it's just a, a big big stinking deal anyway I picked up these young people there uh, one girl and two two young men and they I got her in the car first and she was sitting there with the door open and her two feet on the ground and her one her ass on the seat right right behind me there 
the two guys didn't come out yet, but we were waiting. And then finally the two guys came out and they gave me an address to go to, so I was heading there. And halfway to that address, she opens up the window and pukes. And I mean, she pukes all over the side of the car, on the door and the back of the car. Ugh. Disgusting. And they were, one of them got out at the address and the two of them wanted to keep on going. It ended up being a long fare, but it was a pain in the ass. What, what was really a pain was that um, after I let them out, I was passing not too far from a per particular gas station and I was being sent to that gas station but I had to reject the call because I had to wash the car off. I had to wash the puke off. It was just disgusting. So I washed the puke off and when I got to the car wash, the only car wash that was open at the time in town, it's the one I don't usually go to. One of the stalls was closed and somebody was using the other stall to wash her car inside and out. Anyways, I I managed to when the when the hose stopped working, I just asked to use the hose, the uh, pressure wash to, to wash the car just to wash the side off, just to get rid of that stuff. I had to wash inside the door too. I had to uh, I had to go with some cleaning fluid and some uh, paper towels and get the uh, puke off the inside of the door too. Not just the outside, but the inside of the door as well. So I think I cleaned it all up. It should be good. It's 5.30 now. And uh, we've got our Mr. Punctual to deal with. So uh, it's half an hour before the end of the shift, but I'm gonna go to the bank, and make a de little deposit, and then I'm going to go to the gas station, fuel it up and go park it and go home. I don't have time to do another trip and bring the car back in time. I just did a trip and it was a stupid one. For these homeless people, going to a homeless shelter with a bicycle that had no chain on it. So I had to load the bicycle, load the people, get them to the homeless shelter for $6.60, exact change on a credit card or debit card, whatever kind of card it was, I don't know. $6.60 exactly. Oh, the last of the big time spenders. At least everyone paid me tonight. That was good. Oh, I was stopping for a traffic light. Yay. Okay, so we're getting towards the bank and uh, we've got uh, two more nights to go this week. Yeah. Time is now 5.28, I've got 4.24 on, $424, I've been busy, uh, especially uh, before midnight, it was one right after another after another, and the thing is, the distances that I had to cover to go get the next call was usually quite a long distance. We were definitely short of cars for the amount of business we had because otherwise I wouldn't have had to go quite so far. Um, something's been bothering me with my eye the last few days. I don't know what it is. It's a little bit puffy and inflamed. It's a little bit swollen, shall we say. And it doesn't feel right. And sometimes my vision gets kind of blurry. drama no there wasn't any drama it's just that the work conditions are harsh where every time I'd get sent on a trip it was far away rather than nearby 
and then even if you rejected some, you would get another one that was equally as bad, except in the other direction. And then when you'd get there, half the time, there was nobody there, because they waited more than 10 minutes. Oh no, they waited more than 10 minutes, so they had to disappear. That, that happens frequently. Or some of them called two or three cabs, then they wait, for, they, they take the first one because they're impatient. And then the other driver wastes his time going there. Or I had one where I got sent to the address and I called the guy and said, I'm right outside. And he says, well, we canceled. I said, well, I don't know anything about that. There was no cancellation on my, on my, uh, on my tablet here. They claimed that they canceled, but they didn't really. They're like canceling right now. Yeah, I had a few like that. So I'm mentally exhausted. Mentally exhausted. And I'm just gonna, uh, I got half an hour left. So I'll probably Watch a video or two, relax, and then we'll head to the car wash at 6 o'clock. Right now it's 5.31 if I didn't mention it yet. Oh yeah, I, I did mention it when it was 5.28, I think. See, that's another thing, when you're mentally exhausted, you don't, you don't think straight. Okay, one more night to go this week. Time is now 5.29 in the morning. 5.29 on a Friday morning and I have just dropped off my last customer in Langford. Langford is in the Western communities. It's gonna take me almost half, well, it's gonna take me 15 minutes to get back into town. And by that time, I don't wanna take any more calls. By that time, I wanna just uh, fuel up and I want to add up all my Interact slips. I've got uh, $430 on, which is great. $430. So it's been, again, a profitable week. I have just decided to take a vacation. Here's what happened. I was talking with my sister, or actually I phoned up my, my ex, my ex-girlfriend. Some of you may remember her. Her name is Cindy. And she, I wished her a happy birthday because it was her birthday. And she wanted, she, uh, I expressed to her that I want to take a vacation. And uh, my sister and mother are people that I do not particularly want to visit for my vacation this summer. There are reasons. One of the reasons was that last year it didn't go very well. And so, I said, you know, I would want to visit them, but there are reasons that I should not. That's too bad, really, because, yeah, well, my family's dysfunctional, okay. And so, my ex, Cindy uh, said, well, you aren't going to go visit your family. I said, well, no. She says, well, why don't you come visit me? And I'm thinking, you know, that would maybe be a nice break. It would get me away from here and it would get me away from my job 
and it would get me away from my surroundings that I'm sick and tired of. And so yeah, I decided to go visit her. Now the weekend is three weeks away when I'm going to go visit her. And uh, she said that she and her sister are going to the country fair on that weekend when I'll be arriving. And she says, we're about to get our tickets. Should we include you? And I said, sure. I would like that. So that has been decided upon. I will be going three weeks from now to visit my ex in Alberta. And if it doesn't work out, I can always come back home and spend the rest of it here as a staycation rather than being over there the whole time. So it's a win-win situation. If, if, uh, if I'm no longer at some point uh, welcome, then I can always come back home. But it will be nice to get out and get away. So that's what I'm going to do. Tonight was uh, quite busy the first three hours. I think I did 10 trips the first three hours. And then on the fourth hour, I got called by my generous customer. Oh, everybody's speeding this morning. I'm speeding too, but only slightly. So, um, I had my generous customer, and he and his brother took forever to come out of the house. But then, uh, I looked at it this way. It was a break, and no, I'm not taking this call. I am de declining it. And I'm going to take myself log out and done I'm logged out there I'm going to go into town I'm going to fuel up I'm going to add up my interacts and then I'm going to call my mother I also have an appointment this morning oh here come the sun whoa that's bright that is bright I got my shade somewhere So, oh good, there's trees between me and the sun, that's a good thing. So, uh, yeah, he and his brother took forever to come out, and then when, the, when they were in the car, they were wasting my time, they were talking about nonsense, and half of it was in a foreign language that I don't understand. So, finally we got our uh, generous customer to his destination. And uh, he tipped well, as usual. And then he called to have me take him back. Basically, from him, I got $100 out of the $430 that I, that I made for the night. So um, the pace, after, after I dropped him off for the first time, uh, the pace of the night had slowed down considerably was actually quite comfortable. I got to watch some video and I got to go to sleep a few times and I also did 20 fares in total. So that's all right. And with $400, you know, with more than $400, the average trip was $20 and more. Well, a lot of that is thanks to our generous customer, but uh, still, I was doing some good trips. This one now that I just did was a $31 trip that I got $35 for doing in cash. So I got a fair amount of cash as well. That means that I can get some groceries uh, with cash. I don't have to dip into my bank account to get groceries, which is great. And... I'm also going to have something like seven or eight hundred dollars in Interac overs, which I will receive in uh, a couple days when I go back to work on Sunday. So things are good. Life is good.
and I, it's hard to believe how much of a better mood that put me in, just knowing that I'm going on vacation, just having a plan to go on vacation. Yeah. And when I said I was coming, my ex said, uh, I'll give you my van to sleep in. <laughs> and I guess she doesn't want me sleeping on the couch or on the floor. She would rather have me sleeping in her van. That's okay. I'll bring a... I'll bring a inflatable mattress and a sleeping bag. <laughs>